respected brothers and sisters. Alhamdulillah, we are just after four months, we'll be entering two months of Ramadan. And this month is month of Sha'ban. It has a very special status. It came in some of the hadith. Sahabi Usama ibn Zayd radiallahu anhu, who was very close to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his beloved, uh, uh, you know, Khadim, Zayd's son, Usama was in his lap in many cases. So he was uh, became, became beginning of teen age. He noticed Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam fasting so much in month of Shaban. He said, yeah, Rasulullah, I know, never see you, must, you fast that much in any other month. The nafal fasting you do in the, 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 the additional fasting you do in the month of Shaban. What is the significance here, Rasulullah? He sallallahu alayhi wa said, ذَلِكَ شَهْرٌ يَقْفُلُ النَّاسُ عَنْهُ بَيْنَ رَجَبَ رَمَضَانِ Okay, he said, uh, this is the month, uh, um, that is a month to which people do not pay much attention between Rajab and Shaban, Rajab and Ramadan. Rajab, they know it is one of the sacred months. And Ramadan is very special, everybody knows. But in between Shaban, they don't pay that much attention. He said, And this is the month of Shaban in which, uh, which deeds are taken up to the lords of worlds. Our yearly report is presented to Allah in the month of Shaban. Then he said, Therefore, I would like to, uh, 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 that my deeds are taken up when I am fasting. In that situation, my report is presented to Allah. Our mother Aisha radiallahu anha said, Ma ra'aytu Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam istakmala siyama shahrin qattu illa ramadan. Oma ra'aytuhu fi shahrin aksara siyama minhu fi shaban. Our mother Aisha radiallahu anha said, I never saw the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam fasting for a whole month except the month of Ramadan and I did not see him fasting the nafal fasting, additional fasting in any month more than in the month of Shaban. And the reason is that uh, our, our deeds will be uh, presented to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The yearly report will be presented to him in this month of Shaban. Although you may have heard the hadith, our reports are presented to Allah in three ways, in three uh, uh, t uh, times. One is our daily report twice a day presented to Allah. Second one, weekly one. Third one, the yearly one. So the, the daily one is, as you know, um, there is a hadith. 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 Angels come in succession by night and day, and all of them get together at the time of Fajr and Asr. Fajr and Asr prayers. Those who have passed the night with you ascend to the heaven, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asks them, okay, though He knows everything. Uh, 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 about us, well, he asked still the angels, in what state did you leave my slaves? The angels reply, when we reached them, they were praying, and when we left them, they were praying. This is the report. If you pray Fajr and Asr on time, in Jama'ah, inshallah, the angels of the night and angels of the day will reach to Allah and Allah will ask them daily reporting, subhanAllah, your, your servants Allah, we uh, went to see them, meet them, they were praying, Fajr, and when he left them, they are praying Asr. And the Asr one will be saying, we, when he joined them, we found they are praying Asr, and, and the Fajr time they'll be leaving, they'll say, we say them, we seen them, they are praying. So and everyone who prays five times a day with proper Salah, mashallah, your report is going to Allah, a good report, inshallah. This is the daily report, Allah asked them, briefly, and at the answer. The weekly one about this, the hadith, as you know, Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, 
فأحب أن يعرض عملي وأنا سائل every Monday and every uh, Thursday uh, our amal, our deeds are presented to Allah the weekly one, twice a week and so I would like to see when my reports are presented to Allah weekly that I am in fasting situation that's why it is very good amal, good practice that we are uh, fasting the Monday and Thursday this is a beautiful habit it's not too difficult those who are used to this to amal they are very fortunate so these are the uh, weekly report and the final one is a yearly report as you have heard in this hadith of Usama ibn Zaid radiallahu anhu that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said it is raised to Allah it is taken up to Allah in the month of Sha'ban and now and the hadith says, the hadith of Usab and Zaid, that many people are not focusing, not aware of the virtue of the month of Shaban, when the report goes to Allah. So many people are in ghafla. They are uh, not uh, focusing. Because they give focus in the month of Rajab, which is one of the sacred month, and Ramadan, which is a blessed month, they know. But in between, Shaban is lost. Many people never focused to that. This is one of the reasons when he was fasting. So number one, our actions are raised. Number two, when people are not focusing in ibadah, that time focus of ibadah is very rewardful to Allah. And that's why many of the Sahaba would be going to the marketplace to do zikr of Allah. It's strange. Why they're going to market to do zikr of Allah? Why not at their home? Because they are very clever, very wise. People in the market buying and selling and all the shopping around and uh, maybe if not shopping, even window shopping, all this business, wasting time. So, at that time when people are heedless, you remember Allah, you do the care of Allah, that is very much appreciated by Allah. The Sahaba are very clear, clear, you know, clever, very wise to do dhikr in the marketplaces. So that's why Shaban, uh, when people are not focusing that much, if you focus in the ibadah of Allah, that is a huge benefit for all of us. And the next uh, virtue of the uh, month of Shaban is that it is before Ramadan. And any uh, ibadah before and after farad, before and after farad ibadah, anything is it attached to that is extra, uh, you know, um, reward for that. It, the status is much higher. Like, you know, we pray Juma. If you come earlier, pray a few rakats. If you are uh, praying Juma, before you leave, you pray at least four, uh, four raka. These sunnah, ratiba, sunnah mu'akkada, you know, before, after zuhr after Maghrib, after Isha, before Fajr. These are called Sunnah Ratiba, Sunnah Mu'akkada. It has much more higher status than ordinary Salah of Nafal. Because it is close to the Fard. Okay? Uh, as Ibn Rajab, Rahimahullah said, أَفْتَلُ التَّطَوِي مَا كَانَ قَرِيبًا مِنْ رَمَضَانْ قَبْلَهُ بَعْدَهُ وَتَكُونُ مَنْزِلَتْهُ مِنِ السِّيَامِ بِمَنْزِلَةِ السُنَّةِ الرَّاتِبَ Like the Sunnah Ratiba, after Zuhr, before Zuhr, after Maghrib, after Isha, before Fajr, these are special, more rewardful. Same way, uh, Ramadan fasting is farad. Before that, Shaban fasting, after that, Shawwal fasting, are higher status, uh, you know, reward-wise. And here, takmilatun li naqsil faraid. It, uh, you know, uh, makes up what missing happened in the farad one. If our fard obligatory fasting of Ramadan have some shortcoming, shortfall, then these nafal uh, ibadah, nafal fasting will add, you know, uh, uh, and make our Ramadan was whatever is the missing part, whatever is the uh, less uh, uh, reward is fulfilled by the nafal one before we do in Shaban. And also, uh, you know, in Shawwal, that is uh, the status of uh, fasting before and after for the fasting of Ramadan.
uh, and the Ramadan fasting has, uh, Shaban fasting has another benefit. In the Siyamahu Katamrini ala Siyami Ramadan, as Ibn Rajab al Hanbali says, that the, the, all this ibadah fasting in the month of Shaban we do will be making us, we are used to our fasting. When we are not used to our fasting in the month of Shaban, then when Ramadan comes, many people become so difficult fast day, Ya Allah, very heavy. But if you are used to fasting a lot in the month of Shaban, MashaAllah, you are already used to. Now, your Ramadan will be not that burdensome. Okay? And then in the Shaban, is all ibadah are recommended, which recommended in the month of Ramadan. What man is recommended in the month of Ramadan? Fasting? Yes, in Shaban there is fasting. Quran in Ramadan? Yes, in Shaban there is Quran. You are already used to recitation of the Quran. As many of the scholars said, Shaban, Shahrul Qurra. Shaban is the month of the reciters of the Quran. The Hufaz will be leading Tarawiyah, they are having their revision done again and again. And we are also coming to increase our amount of telawa. So in Ramadan, we are in the right spirit. We can, alhamdulillah, find a way that Allah give us. We are used to already to have more recitation happening. And also, sadaqat is recommended in the month of Ramadan. That's why we do also give sadaqa in the month of Shaban that will help many poor people, uh, you know, to have uh, preparing themselves for getting iftar or sahur meal through our donation, we may try to send them even in the month of Shaban. So these are the opportunities in the month of Shaban. This came to us to go to Jannah. We need to uh, have a target of high standard of ibadah to reach. And if you are not fasting many days, you find difficulty, at least to follow the sunnah practice every Monday and Thursday. And middle of the month, the white days, Ayyamu Bid, 13th, 14th and 15th. At least we do this. So we are not missing all virtue of Shaban. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to fast much more. And you can also choose uh, one day fasting, one day uh, not fasting like Siyami Daud, which is best recommended as well. Uh, however, many of the scholars consider there is a hadith when in the end portion of Shaban we give a break. That break, like preparation and having enough energy to come to Ramadan starting. That's why in the very uh, end portion of Shaban it's maybe not recommended to fast the Nafal except it, it falls in one of the Sunnah category of Monday and Thursday of like that. So, and also in Ramadan, we try, in Shaban, we try to have more preparation for Ramadan, both spiritually, physically, thinking, I have to uh, plan, my many things will be finished uh, my, in the month of Shaban, so in Ramadan, I have less work, <coughs> except your genuine job, you need to make it, or your business, you need to run it, as, as, uh, as much as possible to cut down many things, planning the Ramadan, I'm less busy. And I will be able to focus in Ramadan. This is the preparation physically, financially, uh, spiritually, all this. And part of that is to go to, to revise Fiqh Siyam, going through the, how the Masail of an Adab of fasting, how can make our fasting is more rewardful to Allah to learn all this. Inshallah, we'll be running session here, uh, preparation for Ramadan, Fiqh uh, Siyam wa Adabuha in English, in uh, Bangla, in maybe in Somalian as well, inshallah, before Ramadan, the, the, the announcement will come. Please try to attend those sessions as well. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq that we are able to fast the month of Ramadan. Allahumma balikna Ramadan. Allahumma aina ala dhikrika, shukrika, husni ibadatik. Wa la taj'alna min al ghafilin. بارك الله لنا ولكم في القرآن العظيم ونفعني وإياكم بما فيه من الآيات وذكر الحكيم وأقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله لي ولكم ولسائر المسلمين من كل ذنب فاستغفروه وتوب إليه إنه هو الغفور الرحيم